Hey, what's going on guys? It's this kid and the new patch is out 10.2. So that means we're going to go over all the mounts and how to get them in this video. So really getting right into it, we're going to start with the seasonal mounts. The first one we'll talk about is going to be the gladiator mount and that's going to be the verdant gladiators slither drake. Now much like many other gladiator mounts in the past, it's going to require you to hit 2400 rating in 3v3. And then from there, you're going to have to win 50 games above 2400 rating. Now, if you don't think you're able to hit 2400 rating, you can also opt to grind out some conquest above 1000 rating. And if you do enough, you're going to get the Vicious Moon Beast. Now, the way to get this mount is only available for this season, but you can always buy some of these mounts with a Vicious Saddle after the season ends. So moving on, we're going to have the Mythic Plus Keystone Master Mount, and this season it's going to be the Verdant Armoradon. Now the way to get this mount, just like almost every other season, is going to be to hit a specific rating in Mythic Plus. In the past, the rating has changed, so essentially you want to get 2,000 if there are 8 dungeons in the rotation. You want to get 2,500 if there are 10 dungeons in the rotation. This season I'm fairly certain it's going to be 2,000 and there's going to be 8 dungeons in the rotation so essentially you want to do a plus 15 key of each dungeon that is in the rotation and you should be able to get that rating. The next mounts that we'll talk about are going to be the raid mounts and they're going to be the two mounts that are coming from Amir Drasil, the Dream's Hope. The first mount is going to be the Reigns of the Shadow Dusk Dream Saber and that's going to come from the Glory of the Dream Raider achievement. The next mount is going to be the Reigns of Anu Relos, Flame's Guidance, and that's going to drop from Mythic Phyrak. Now what's cool about this mount is if you're a druid and you get the mount, then you also get a flight form customization that looks the exact same as the mount. I'm also fairly certain that even if you just have the mount on your account and you play a druid that didn't get the mount, you'll still be able to use that customization. It kind of worked the same way with the Fandral's Flame Scythe in Firelands. So next we're going to have the two Dragonflight mounts. These are both going to be pretty straightforward. The first one is going to be the Flourishing Whimsy Drake, and that's going to be pretty much from the first quest that you get right when you enter the Emerald Dream. And the next one is not too new, but it's going to be the Grotto Netherwing Drake. It used to be only from the Trading Post, but now there is a quest chain in order to get that mount. So if you missed it on the trading post, you can definitely get it from this quest chain. No trading tender or anything like that required. But this quest chain is only available, I think, in week two, so I don't really have any footage of it or anything. But I'm going to post the entire quest chain here. The next mount is going to be similarly obtained through quests. This mount is going to be the Reigns of the Okra Dream Talon. Now same kind of deal here as the last mount. Basically this is only unlockable I think on week 2 or at a certain amount of renown. Not really sure. But you're going to go to this little sprout, this smoldering sprout. It's a little bit outside of the central encampment. I'll post the coordinates here. Now once you're at the sprout you want to interact with it a couple times until you get a quest. After that, you're going to do a few more quests, about five in a row. I'll post the entire quest chain here. And then once you do all five of those quests, you're going to be able to get that mount. Now the next two mounts are going to be way more straightforward. They are only going to be available from Renown, and that's going to be Renown 17. Now once you hit that with the Dream Wardens, you're going to be able to buy Reigns of the Lunar Dream Stag for 1200 supplies and Reigns of the Sun-Touched Dream Stag for 1200 supplies as well. Now the next six mounts are going to be a little bit trickier. They are associated with Renown, but it's not exactly the same process of just getting the Renown and purchasing. The way these next mounts work is you're going to get to Renown 5, and at that point you're going to unlock the ability to get a Dream Infusion. Now to get a Dream Infusion, you're going to talk to Eliana at the Central Encampment, and you're going to do a quest for her. Once you do that first quest, you're going to get a basically free dream infusion. Any dream infusion after that is going to be available once you hit the full dream energy bar above Eliana's head. Now this bar fills up by just doing stuff in the Emerald Dream. So things like doing the Super Bloom event, doing world quests, doing just regular quests, things like that. They're all going to fill up the dream energy bar. 
Now, just as a little estimation, I got about two and a half full bars during the first week of the patch, so it goes by really, really quickly. However, do be careful. Once you fill up the dream energy bar, you want to get the dream infusion as soon as possible because this doesn't kind of overflow. Once you get to the end of the dream energy bar, you stop collecting more. So you have to be sure that once you get it up to full, you get that dream infusion and you start gaining dream energy again. So now once you get that dream infusion, you can talk to Eliana and Eliana is going to offer you the mounts. However, in order to buy the specific mounts, you have to basically prove that you have a similar model mount. So essentially, if you're getting the mammoth mount, you have to already have a mammoth of the same model. And what I mean by that is you have to have something like the renewed mag mammoth or the subterranean mag mammoth. You can't have something like the mossy mammoth, for example, that will not count towards this mount. But anyway, the names of the mounts are going to be Delugen, which is an Otok mount, Imagiwing, which is a Shalewing mount, Mammoth, which is a Magmammoth mount, Salatrancer, which is a Salamanther mount, Stargazer, which is a Dreamstag mount, and Talent, which is a Dream Talon mount. All the mounts are going to be basically translucent with like a little green coloring to them, almost similar to the 500 mount achievement mount. And for the last few mounts, they're all going to come from the new event called Emerald Bounties in the Emerald Dream. Essentially what happens there is you're going to get an uncommon, a rare, or an epic seed, and you're going to use these seeds on a big pile of soil. The relevant soil is going to be marked on your map with a little seed. If you're the first one to start the event, all you have to do is click the seed in your inventory, and you'll plant the seed which grows for about three minutes before giving you loot. Now in order to get the loot, you're gonna to have to contribute one of two things. The first one is gonna be either a seed. So if you're the first one there, you plant whatever seed you want. If you are not the first one there, you can contribute a matching seed. So for example, if someone planted a rare seed, you can also contribute a rare seed as well. If someone planted an epic seed, you're only allowed to contribute another epic seed. If you don't have one, you can't plant one essentially. And so for that reason, it would not count as you contributing a seed, and so you would not get that portion of the loot. However, another portion of the loot that you can always contribute to no matter what is going to be emerald dewdrops. Now for every five dewdrops that are contributed, you're going to grow this progress bar from one to a hundred. And before I go any further, you only need to contribute 5 Emerald Dewdrops to get this portion of the loot. Now from 1 to 49, you're going to get the Uncommon Bag, and that is going to have a very, very small chance of dropping the Winter Night Dream Saber mount. As you get the progress bar up to 50 out of 100, that's going to have a higher chance to drop the mount. And finally, once you get to 100 out of 100, that's going to have the largest chance to drop the mount. It's not 100%, but it's pretty high. It's somewhere around like 3%, I would say. I got it in the first day. Now, if you'll notice, I didn't talk about the other mounts. I only talked about the Winter Night Dream Saber because that's the only mount that can be obtained in that specific way. The other mounts are going to be the Blossoming Dream Stag, the Evening Sun Dream Saber, the Morning Flourish Dream Saber, the Snow Fluff Dream Talon, the Springtide Dream Talon, and the Rekindled Dream Stag. Each of these mounts basically gives you two ways of getting them. So the first way is going to be by planting or matching one epic dream seed. Now, as I said before, you can either plant or contribute a matching dream seed. So if you either do one of those two things, you'll have a chance to get one of these mounts in the loot at the end of the three minutes. You really don't even have to contribute dew drops at all. All you have to do is match the epic seed or plant the seed. The other way to get these mounts is just by doing the weekly quest. It's going to be called Blooming Dream Seeds, and that's given by Talus uh, Whisperbloom at the central encampment. So once you finish that quest, you're going to get a seed bloom. And seed bloom is going to be basically currency to buy these mounts. The mounts are going to be available for purchase once you hit Renown 18. They're going to be sold by Talisa Whisperbloom. Yeah, essentially you're going to have to hit Renown 18, have a Seed Bloom, and you can just buy them that way. 
So this is essentially just bad luck protection against the emerald bounty drop rates. I think I've done three epic dream seeds so far and I haven't gotten them out from either of them. If you really wanna go crazy with this as well, you can do this on multiple characters, and then once they all hit Renown 18, you can go and buy all the mounts that way. But anyway, that is gonna be all the mounts that are coming from patch 10.2. If you have questions or anything, leave it in the comments, and you guys have fun during this patch. Thank you.